the common ion effect. The common ion effect causes precipitation or reduced solubility by the addition of a common ion. If the concentration of a common ion is increased, according to Le Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium will shift to the left and decrease the solubility of the compound. So let's look at an example. Explain how the addition of hydrogen sulfide decreases the concentration of Pb2 plus ions in a saturated solution. So in a saturated solution there's an equilibrium between the solid lead sulfide and the aqueous ions. So if we increase the concentration of S2 negative ions, the sulfide ions, and they come from the hydrogen sulfide, then according to Le Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium will shift to the left. So an increase in the S2 negative or the sulfide ions from H2S shifts the equilibrium to the left, causing lead sulfide to precipitate, therefore reducing the concentration of Pb2 plus ions in solution. And that's known as the common ion effect. Let's try another example. Suggest with an explanation a chemical method by which this amount of nickel dissolved in the water could be reduced even further. So this question involves the removal of Ni2 plus ions from wastewater. So in a saturated solution there's a dynamic equilibrium between nickel hydroxide and the aqueous ions. So we can reduce the concentration of the nickel ions by adding excess hydroxide ions or by increasing the pH. Increasing the pH would increase the concentration of hydroxide ions. So the excess hydroxide ions will shift the equilibrium to the left, causing nickel hydroxide to precipitate, therefore reducing the concentration of the Ni2 plus ions in solution, and that is again known as the common ion effect.